Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Well, it's Brian Paul sitting here in VR as always. And guys, we... <sighs> best day ever, right? Can we just say the best day ever? Uh, we got a frack demo that dropped on the store today. And, I mean, it's beautiful, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, check out my Breaking News Report video for all the release, de release details. It is uh, going to be a $30 game, $35 for the Deluxe Edition, uh, coming out the 17th. Uh, for the Deluxe Edition or tw the 20th for the regular uh, Standard Edition. So you can actually get it three days early if you want to pay the extra five bucks. Guys, I think you're going to want to pay the extra five bucks. Let's check this out. Uh, even the menu screen. I like all of this. All right. Um, let's uh, let's start a new game here, guys. We're going to start a new game. We're going to delete all of our pro uh, progress. Uh, Dave, AJ, and I have been playing this thing for like the better part of the last week. Um, and uh, it's not, not terribly long. About 20 minutes or so should get us through the beginning to, beginning to end. Hard mode is not unlocked. Uh, so there seems like there's either more to the demo that they could unlock or uh, they're just letting us know that there is a hard mode in the game. So let's do this, guys. Let's do this. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all having an awesome day. This is Fract Day, everybody. Let's get the hands in the right hands. And then we'll hold to calibrate, as we were told to do. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Breaking the ice. Quick, let me make sure you guys can hear everything. I'm going to turn up the sound. The sound of the same is fantastic. Let's pick that flare gun up. here. So you got to tilt your head to ski. It's very, very sensitive. So I'm actually, so I'm playing the standing. Um, when the demo first came out, they recommend that you play it uh, sitting. But I got to tell you guys, I got to tell you guys, I think you're going to want to play the standing. So I don't, I don't know what it looks like on stream, guys. I think it looks probably really nice on stream. Uh, you know, obviously the first thing everybody says is, oh, it kind of looks like Borderlands. But I got to tell you, it's in the headset, it is super crisp, super clear. I think it looks better than Borderlands. Uh, and like just the colors really, really, really pop. Hey, bet you don't even remember the resolution me, is just incredible. Up to your brand new life in of course, I'm playing on the PlayStation 5, too, so that helps. Well, the mountain's unstable since they started drilling. You're gonna have to ski like hell, because you won't live through what's coming. Shit! It's here. Oh, that's a real beauty. That's a seven story. It's an avalanche, guys. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alright, the avalanche coming down here, guys, so we're gonna race the avalanche now. Here we go. Collectible. Bling. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that didn't go well at all. Woo! Alright. Oh man. I can... You sure 
can feel the avalanche rumbling in the move controllers. Ah! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> Guys, playing this off uh, off stream for myself, I, I've like almost never died hey, during the avalanche. Remember me, Rosales? Flew you up to your brand new life in Paris. But as you saw, I was all over the slopes, man. Mountains unstable since they started drilling. You're gonna have to ski like hell, cause you won't live through what's coming. Alright, here we go. We're gonna get it this time. There's the avalanche. Oh, that's a real beauty. That's a seven story. Go, go, go! Yeah, what up, Burper Cat? Yeah, like I feel like I feel like Fract is going to be the game that brings people back into VR if they haven't been playing for a while, or if they moved on to a different headset or that kind of thing. I really, really think that Whoa! that this game is going to bring people back into VR and like but show everybody how cool VR games can be again. Uh, I feel like we had like a streak where it was like we got a bunch of small games, we got a bunch of uh, bad ports and stuff, and this PSVR exclusive looks like it is done right. It is. Beautiful. It feels good to play. All right, all right, all right, all right. There we go. Here we go. The avalanche is coming up. Oh, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. <laughs> Whoa! <Shit. laughs> Fucking beautiful, man. Beautiful. Finally, developers are giving us shit in VR that we've always wanted to do. Just crazy, fucking over-the-top action stuff. And uh, woo! Good stuff, man. Good stuff. The demo does work on PlayStation 5. I just heard somebody ask that in the chat. Uh, I'm playing it on PlayStation 5. Uh, so you're going to be real, real happy. Will there be a physical release of Fract? Good question. Alright, so here we go. It is, this is not a timed exclusive, guys. This is a PlayStation VR exclusive. Damn, that um, was a nasty landing. You okay? So, uh, the hell am I, so, it's time to dig out your You're PlayStation safe, VR headset, guys. You dig out your PlayStation VR headset and, uh, and, and do this, man. Uh, I got I to apologize. I got to apologize real quick. Um, if you guys, if you guys saw my Tarzan stream this morning, it looked like my right hand was drifting a little bit. Uh, the same thing's happening with my left hand now. Uh, it's probably the same move controller, uh, but you know, but you know what I mean. So, uh, so I, this is the first time I've had drift problems in this. So it's not the game; it's my setup. Obviously, Tarzan proves that. Uh, so let's do this, guys. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful this is. So this is interesting. They, they say, you know, it's a typical hold the move button to walk. Uh, but then they, they're very specific about, hey, if you point it straight forward, that will be the fastest speed to walk. And then if you kind of pull back a little bit, you'll walk slower. So you have a little bit more control over your walking speed. Of course, double tap runs as it should. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! It's absolutely beautiful, guys. Alright, so typical turn buttons, everything works the way that it should. That's uh, Finch. It's like they're brainwashed. The, co the colors here are just absolutely incredible. This is this is what I'm talking about, guys. Not only is everything like you're not gonna you're not gonna look at stuff and go, oh wow, it's super detailed. I mean, you can see the resolution here on this texture is just like, bang. But when you combine it all together, holy crap, man! Like what what an amazing visual style. Amazing. It looks fucking awesome. Oh, this will come in handy. Hell yeah. And then this is this is the cover system, guys. We've been talking about this quite a bit on Gamescast Live. Uh, we've been saying that, um, you know, if you ever played Crisis on the Planet of the Apes, this is the cover system. You grab like pretty much any surface and you pull yourself up and down, like in and out of cover. It makes perfect sense, dude. I'm impressed. Where did you say you learned how to shoot again? And that's the reload. It's it's kind of half arcade, half uh, it's like almost half automatic, but like it gives you just enough to do to make you feel like you're actually reloading it. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit more in a second. Whew. I love the way this game looks. Uh, let's 
get, get, get to cover real quick here. So I'll show you guys. We get a second here. So, uh, so if you tap the move button, it ejects the magazine, and then you just grab it. It's already ready for you, like right here. So you don't have to grab it from your body or anything. Just boom, and then cock the gun. You're good to go. So, like I said, it gives you just enough to do to make make it feel like you're doing the manual reload uh, without just hitting a button. It's kind of the perfect balance. I'm wide open out here. Need to take cover. You can switch the gun hand. All you have to do is just grab it with the other hand, and then boom, you're good to go. So left hand to support your, your fucking golden guys. Now this guy. Oh. oh yeah, there we go. The shooting feels great, guys. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I'm not worried about it at all. Um, you know, it's definitely an arcade shooter. You're not going to be like, you know, doing any aiming down the sights and stuff. I guess you could, um, but like, really, it's such a cover-based shooter that a lot of the times. The hell is that? Ah, lucky boy. Never knew they had some of the fruit in there. That's like gold dust. A lot of the times, you'll like go grab bite, cover and just be like shooting over it. Up, ready for anything. Uh, so it, it feels more like an action movie than like a than like a you know a, some kind of simulation or something. Here, so let's eat some uh, let's eat some mushrooms here. Tastes great, <laughs> right? Yeah, <clears throat> great. All right, so we can we can we can holster the gun uh, by holding down okay. the triangle, Steady and then it. we can climb. Uh, yeah, and guys, climbing feels it. great, right? This is this, you guys. You guys know how much I love uh, Immortal Legacy. Like, it, despite all of its flaws, I love that game, and it's because it sort of does all of this stuff. It does shooting well. It does climbing well, and right off the bat, man, Frack does it all, and it does it like even better. So we're gonna shimmy across the wall here. Feels really good. Climb up. We'll use the turn buttons to kind of turn around the edge here. This doesn't feel safe. Crunch over here. And drop down. I think the mush I, I'm pretty sure the mushrooms allowed me to kind of see the yellow edges and stuff to, to climb on. It gave, it gave me the uncharted effect. I think that's what it did. Uh, I don't know. I probably should pay more attention when I play games, but you know. Uh, sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. <laughs> so, I mean, now, see, look at the detail down here, guys. I love it, man. I love it. All right, so let's grab that gun again. Um, just to show you guys to reload in one more time. And let's get let's get a move on. I just like blowing things up. Let's blow stuff up. Yeah, a little bit of zip lining here. There's a lot of zip lining, actually, even just in the demo. Uh, so we're going to grab onto that, and as we come down, we're going to shoot right, as we're moving. Oh, this looks so cool on cam. Yeah, the colors really are beautiful, man. I totally agree. Hey guys, if uh, the demo's not on your store, I, I I can't I don't know what to tell you except uh, except to wait a little bit because it will be out. And uh, and if you and if you don't want to create uh, an Australian or a North American account, man, uh, then just hold off and you should be fine soon enough. You should be fine soon enough. Here, let's let's find some cover here. So it's not it's not just up and down. Like you can grab any wall and like and pull yourself around all over the place. So, you know, kind of like getting into the role and doing this, like, this kind of movement is so cool. How, how are the sound levels, guys? Everybody, you, can you hear the music in the game? Can you hear all the voices? Uh, am I being overpowered? Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, guys, it, like, you know, as excited as we were for Fract, like, this demo proves that all of the excitement was worthwhile. Uh, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. Just 
awesome move to, awesome way to move around, guys. Like this this cover system is just it should be in every single game. Thank, thank you guys in the chat. Uh, it sounds like we got a lot of people trying to help out, uh, help people find the demo. So thank you very much, guys. Alright, so we ziplined in from down there. It's telling me to go this way. Great. I'll have to find another way around. Let's find another way around. Reckon you could use the crane to move that cargo container? Make some sort of bridge? Now, I will say that one of the... Oh, shit. Let's find some better cover. Did I not? Good. Oh, I didn't cock it. Alright. Here, let's, let's, get, let's get behind some cover here. We had people coming at us from all directions. Now, these yellow outlines on the characters, I don't... I'm going to assume those aren't there in hard mode. Uh, but I'm actually really glad that they're here in this mode. Uh, because with everything being so colorful, I think it'd be kind of easy to lose track. Look at this. I love this. Look, look, how, look how graphic this is. Like, it's, it's kind of a cartoony game, but they still made it, like, super graphic. You know, as much as I love the cover-based stuff, just running around and shooting these guys in the face is, uh, is just as rewarding. Uh, so, here, let's... They want us to go up there now. I think we can probably also do this. Now, I was talking to Jimmy uh, Bowers and Dreams. We're gonna, I've got an interview for this going up later today, uh, and uh, probably later tonight, to be honest with you. And we were talking about collectibles, and he did confirm uh, for the first time ever that there will be collectibles in this game. You guys saw the uh, you guys saw the coin as we were skiing. I think that was uh, probably uh, uh, indicative of what we should be expecting. Hmm. Not as easy as it looks. Relax. It's just a king size claw machine. Grab yourself a teddy bear. It's so funny, man. Things like this always scream like, "Oh, VR gimmick, VR gimmick," and. Uh, but I'm, I'm totally happy with VR gimmicks in this game. Like, they, they do it easily. It, it, it's not, like, super complicated controls. It's like, hey, grab these two handles, now get that thing down there. Now, this is job I was made for. All day alone in a crane cabin? That figures. Oh, 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 all right. And before we use that zip line, let's see, uh, let's see where these guys are positioned. Oh man, there's so many of them. So many of them. Alright. Let's get down there, guys. I think we're going to be actually better off if we can get some cover. Yep, exactly. I'd rather be able to hold on to something, to pull myself in and out of cover, than to to be up there in the open. multiplayer for Frat guys this is a single player experience uh, and man I, I don't I don't need multiplayer in this game like this this is what I like <laughs> that was great that was fantastic uh, like I when developers focus on doing one thing and doing it well absolutely love it. no reason to shoehorn a multiplayer game into this I'll tell you, the enemy AI isn't great, I'll be honest about that. It's, uh, Somebody shoot me from behind. 
Uh, Damn but, right. but, but honestly, there's no hard mode. Hey, soldier boy. We, we can't play the hard Are mode on the demo. Uh, so I don't. Smiling's not for everyone. He's talking. You never told me your name. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so, so the enemy AI is like, it's okay, like it's standard, it does the job, um, but it's, uh, but it's not anything special, like, they'll, they'll do stupid things sometimes, uh, but, but again, we can't play the hard mode in the demo, so we don't actually know, like, the extent of how good the AI can be, uh, hopefully, hopefully they, uh, they kind of ramp up the difficulty a bit for, um, you know, for people who are looking for a really good challenge, uh, for the final release, uh, with the hardest difficulty. <sighs> Blocked. Alright, here we go, guys. Is that a new weapon there, cowboy? Might as well grab it. Who's a good boy? Are you a good boy? Okay. Oh. There we go. Alright. Looks like you could use all the weapons you can get. Yeah, I can. This this game does not. Uh, this game does not uh, hold back when it comes to uh, to motion sickness. Like if if you're susceptible to motion sickness, like this game might be a little bit tough for you because I mean obviously the skiing, the running, the zip lining, uh, like they didn't hold back, man. They made they made a, a VR game for VR vets, uh, and uh, and if you are having any issues with motion sickness, let me know if you're on the PlayStation 5 because the PlayStation 5 not only increases the resolution but it also uh, improves the frame rate, and obviously frame rate is a big thing for people. Um, so like you know this might be a game that like. This might be the first game you want to play on your PlayStation 5 if you're considering picking a PlayStation 5 up. Because uh, it is... I mean, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Alright, let's reload. Oh, shit. Hold on a second. Taking down guys one at a time. Uh oh. Oh, guys, I think. We, uh, is there a bug? I think we have a bug here with the. Uh, the gun doesn't seem to be reloading properly, so we might have just experienced a bug. Yeah, interesting. Alright guys, I think we're stuck with the uh, with the pistol for the rest of this uh, demo. Doesn't seem like it want the machine gun wants to work. Or the SMG, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Alright. I really needed that. I'm glad that worked. Let's grab some ammo here. Oh, you know what? You make an excellent point. You're right. I, I might have just been out of ammo. I think you made. I, I don't think. I don't think. I've played this probably tw 20 times over the last week. Uh, and I don't think I've ever run out of ammo, guys. Uh, so, there you go. <laughs> Good call. Um, it's so funny, actually. One of my, one of my, like, you know, internal, the complaints I internalized was being like, wow, there's just so much ammo around here. I never run out of ammo. And then, of course, the first time I stream it for you guys, um, <laughs> it's. I run out of ammo. Uh, so surprise, surprise, man. Every, everything, uh, everything always happens on stream. You never work this shit out on your own. Uh, anyway, uh, but yes, yeah, so, like I said, Dave, AJ, and I have been playing this for the better part of a week, um, and I have so few complaints about this. I can't wait to play it on hard. I can't wait to really uh, see what the rest of the game has to offer. Obviously, this whole the first 20 minutes has a good variety of environments. Uh, the graphics look amazing. And the gameplay is really fun. There's lots of cool climbing and a lot of things to do. Um, so, I mean, I just can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. Yeah, guys, PSVR exclusive, man. So, uh, so definitely dust off your PSVR headset if you, uh... 
Uh, if, if you haven't played it in a while, or if, uh, if you traded for a quest, it's a oof. Oof. Man, then that is a big oof this summer, man. You're gonna miss out on a lot of great PSVR exclusives. But, uh, but y'all do you, you know? You all do you. You may want to look away from your camera feed here. Enjoy a bit of blue sky. It's disgusting. There are families waiting for these guys to come home. Bad enough Finch poisons our planet. I'm gonna have this bastard one way. Alright, I'm gonna try to Usually I shoot these guys on the way down. But I'm gonna see if I can just be quiet here and uh, and sneak up on them. You said they were because I'm kind of I'm kind of an, uh, I'm kind of a wide open target here. The drill. See those crystals inside of it? Oh yeah. Think you might go and grab one? It's evidence. Will help us find out what's going on. I'll get the crystal. Might be worth a few bucks. This is great, guys. Like I was able to like I was able to stay in cover this whole time, right? And just gra just grab this right here, and just pull myself and, and creep around and look around, be able to look down. Like just uh, it just works perfectly, guys. Like there's so many things to like about this game, but I think the the cover based shooting is is right up there with <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Dude, I've again. I've played this like ten times. Never experienced a crash. Uh, never experienced. Uh, never. Never ran out of ammo. And of course, holy crap, guys! <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? That's the cra the crazy thing is that uh, is that we were actually pretty damn close to the end. Uh, there's just a lot more guys to kill. There's another lever to pull, um, and uh, and then it ends. So uh, so so maybe. So maybe we call it quits right there. You know, you guys, you guys go, uh, you guys go home. You check it out for yourself. You play it for yourself, and uh, you tell me how much you love it later. Whew, that is uh, this absolutely crazy, uh, interesting way to end this end this stream. But anyway, uh, that's it. So guys, uh, look forward. Uh, August seventeenth uh, will be the release of the digital edition or the deluxe edition, and then the uh, the twentieth will be the release of the standard edition. Dude, it's a thirty dollar game. You you know they could have charged forty dollars for this, right? They definitely could have been like PlayStation VR exclusive. It looks beautiful, forty dollars. But instead, they're like thirty bucks, and then thirty five if you want to get three days early with a digital exclusive or sorry, the deluxe edition. I think they're calling it. Um, and, uh, and you get, like, a bunch of stuff. You get, like, some custom weapon skins. You get equipment skins. You get uh, a, 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 a digital soundtrack, a digital art book. Uh, and, of course, again, you get it three days early. So uh, I think that's probably the way to go. But, you know, this this is a beautiful game. I'm so, so happy that Endream's, like, totally pulled it off. Uh, again, weird way to end the stream with the crash. But you guys are awesome. And thank you so, so, so much for hanging out with me. Um, lots more stuff happening on the channel. Over the next couple days, we got uh, an interview with uh, with Jimmy Bowers from End Dreams going up on the channel tonight. So uh, so stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Frack Day is fucking phenomenal. And I'm so happy that you're all here with me. Love PSVR. Love End Dreams. Love Fract. And I love you all. Meow.